welcome to day 11 and 12 of this 30 day yoga challenge. We are well on our way to halfway through. You're doing great so far. If you struggle with any back pain or neck or shoulder pain, this sequence will be your very best friend. So let's get to it. Uh, the only thing with back pain, I just want to remind you, if anything feels too difficult or like you're hitting a point of pain, I want you to immediately stop and move on to the next pose or just stay in a minor version of that pose. So let's get started. Bring your knees to the outside edges of your mat. Bring your glutes all the way to your feet. Bring your hands down to the mat, shoulder length apart, and bring your forehead to touch your mat. Inhale here. Exhale. Bring your right hand over to your left hand, slowly but surely. You'll feel this deep stretch in your shoulders. Now bring your right hand back to center and bring your left hand to meet your right this time. Come back to center. Inhale here. Exhale, tabletop position. Shoulders over your wrist and hips over your knees. Inhale here. We're going to go into cat cow. Drop your belly. Exhale, look up to the sky. Inhale, arch your spine, look down to your navel. Exhale, drop your belly, look up to the sky. Inhale one more time. Exhale, back to center. Inhale at tabletop, tuck, tuck your toes. Exhale, slowly but surely make your way to downward facing dog. Bend into your right knee and then your left. Walk out your down dog. Whatever feels comfortable in this pose. Inhale here. Exhale, look up to the top of your mat. And slowly make your way to the very top of your mat. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Grab onto your shoulders, to your arms. You can sway back and forth, side to side. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Just allow your upper back and your lower back to fully release in this pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands right to your thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly but surely make your way all the way up to a stand. Inhale, shoulder shrug. Exhale, mountain pose. Bring your hands all the way up to the sky. Relax your shoulders here. Bring your hands behind you now in a bind. You will inhale here, exhale slowly forward fold with bound hands. Make a deep bend in your knee as you fold. When you're at the bottom, you can release your hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your back. Exhale, we're going into a chaturanga. Bring your feet hip width distance apart, arms shoulder width. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bring your arms to a 90 degree angle. Inhale, upward facing dog. Another option, like we've talked about before, is to come down to your knees and focus on the halfway push up. Then transition to an inhale, upward facing dog. Then slowly make your way into a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest. 
and place your foot right between your hands. First open to a warrior two. Bring your foot to the knife edge side of your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse warrior. Bring your right hand up and back. Come back to the center. And then you'll bring your feet parallel to your mat, facing forward. Bring your hands behind you in a bind again. Inhale here, exhale, slowly melt to the ground. This is a deep standing forward fold. We've done this plenty of times on our mat, but now we're going to try it standing. You'll feel it in a different way all throughout your spine. Let your back relax in this pose. Keep your hands clasped if that feels comfortable or bring them down to the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, release your hands and slowly make your way back into a warrior two. Come on down to the mat, into a chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring your foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Bring your left hand up and back slightly. Inhale back to a warrior two for a transition. Exhale, going into a forward fold again. Bring your hands behind you, clasp together or down to your mat. Slowly make your way down to a deep forward fold. This time I'm bringing my feet slightly inward and bending my knees a little more to get a little bit of a deeper stretch this time. S inhale, slowly make your way back up to the top. Come to a warrior two for a quick transition. Exhale, down to a chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come down to your mat. We're going to go into a seated version of forward fold, one leg at a time. Bring your left foot on the inside of your leg. Inhale here. Face your right leg a little bit. Exhale. Allow your upper body to melt over your right knee. You might be super flexible here, or you might have a deep bend in your knee. Either way, do what feels best in your body. Breathe while you're in this pose. Allow your back to relax. Slowly make your way back up. We're going to go into the other side. Again, bring your foot on the inside edge of your leg and slowly tilt your chest toward your left leg and then allow your head, neck, and shoulders to relax over your bent left knee. You can grab on hold to your foot here, your thigh, your ankle, wherever you can reach. Slowly make your way back up to a seat, and then we're going to come to lying down on our back. Inhale, bring your knees into your chest. Grab on hold of your right knee and let go of your left knee. Inhale, pull it into your armpit. Exhale, supine twist on the right. You're going to bring your knee all the way over you to all the way to the left side and gaze off to the right. The goal here is to have both your arms glued down to the mat. You can be in a cactus position with your arms or laying flat. Inhale here, exhale, come back to center. We're going to do the other side. Inhale, bring your left leg into your elbow. Exhale, supine twist on the left. Going to glance off towards the left this time. Breathe here.
exhale, come back to center. Slowly but surely, bring your knees into your chest. We're going to transition into happy baby pose. You can grab on hold of the tops of your feet or your ankles or your calves. Either way, you'll just want your knees to kind of open up. You'll feel a deep stretch in your hips here. You can take happy baby all the way out into a V shape or you can keep it right in the middle there. Inhale, bring your knees into your forehead. Exhale, Savasana. Slowly take all the time you need to bring your body fully down to the ground. Relax every part of your muscles and take a moment to inhale here. Exhale. Allow your body to fully release and relax. Start to bring movements to your fingertips and your toes. Inhale, take a long pencil stretch, bring your arms above you. Exhale, move off to the side and slowly make your way up to a seat. Thanks so much for joining. I hope that made your back feel so nice and loose. We'll see you in the next couple days. Bye.